subscribe. Hey my lovelies, it's Imogen aka Miss Emma Insane and welcome to my video. So last weekend I got this and I, I'm thinking it was late. Um, I had visitors last weekend and then this week I've been in and out of hospital and various other stuff, haven't been too well. But then this just arrived. So we now have eight magazines to look at instead of four. And I'm going to stick them all in this one extremely long video. I'm going to apologise about it, but it's going to take me so much longer to film and edit two videos. And I have a lot of stuff that I want to get done this weekend. Um, catching up on the stuff that I haven't done for the last like two weeks. So... <laughs> Forgive me in advance, and I've checked, and there's no birthstone in either of these two either. So we're now like what eight or nine deliveries that it hasn't been in. So well and truly given up on that front. So let's see, we have from last month we have sixty one. Is that? Yep, we have sixty one, sixty two, three, and sixty four. And it looks like we're getting some new cards as well. Um, so I'm going to deal with them first. And then we will look at the other lot. So issue 61 comes with this smallish piece of hematite polished stone. Um, I have better in my collection. I'm not overly fussed about this, but I do like the energies coming from it. We have some more of our tarot cards, if we can focus. So we have card 9, the Hermit. Let's bring it a bit closer. Card 9, the Hermit. We have the Three of Swords. We have an alternative Three of Swords. We have Four of Swords. The alternative Four of Swords. And we also have the Queen of Swords there. So that's the tarot card. So, the magazine. Let's have a look. Using aromatherapy for muscle aches. Methods of muscular aches. Uh, sorry, methods for muscular aches even. Herbal remedies for skin rashes. Exercises for leg strengthening, which funnily enough is very similar to what my physios had me doing. I was at the physio uh, two days ago and... She thinks basically now that I have tendonitis in my knee, which on top of everything else going wrong with me is not good. But uh, my doctor who I saw last week, um, the head doctor at the pain clinic, is now putting me on spinal injections. So soon I will be starting those uh, epidermal injections, which I'm kind of nervous about, but I'm really hoping it will resolve some of my pain and problems. And if you don't know, I am disabled. I have fibromyalgia. Uh, I have some kind of muscular joint hypermobility and I'm in a lot of pain with my hip and my knee and generally my right leg in general and my back. But yeah, so it's maybe not to this extent, but we are looking at some leg exercises with my physio. Similar-ish. Uh, understanding your nine star key part two and determining your star. Understanding chakra antidotes, using those antidotes, understanding Japanese friendship dolls, that is just too cute, friendship doll fun, timing uh, timing your love hunting, oh, This, you all know that I'm not too keen on like the whole love magic and lo interfering with love stuff and yeah. Tarot reading for spirituality and your spiritual spread. Reading the Five of Wands. The Magic of Hematite, which I'm quite looking forward to reading this one actually. Understanding Hematite, Understanding sens uh, Sentimental Charms. Again, that's another good one. Uh, and then Types of Charms, which I did... Um, a blog about talismans, amulets, and charms, uh, and I'll put that below if anybody's interested in reading that. Um, we are now at the end of my Book of Shadows blog series, uh, blog 23, which is more or less a conclusion, it's not really a, 
a blog as such is coming out tomorrow. I do plan to come back with my Book of Shadows blogs come the winter months, but anything can happen between now and then, so I am making zero promises that that is something that will happen, but it's something that I'm hoping to do. True Stories Near Death Visitations for Japanese Friendship. Sorry, for Janet's Friendship. Not Japanese, I've got Japanese in the brain now because of the other page. And then the Relationship Spread. So that's looking at tarot cards for your relationships. So that's issue 61. Okay, so issue 62. It comes with a mint candle and I remember having a mint candle already so I don't know if that's... because I thought it was strange that we got a mint candle. I'd never seen mint candles before. So that's kind of threw me a little bit. And then we got more of these cards which we know I love. And uh, we have healing St. John's Wort oil, so how to make an organic um, extra virgin olive oil and fresh flower heads of St. John's Wort. So we have those cards. Nettle detox soup, so making a nettle soup. And also this vitamin boosting smoothie. There we go. So issue 62, which is a bit battered and dogged around the top corner, I'm not too happy about. Herbal remedies to treat cold sores. Where were you last week? Um, I actually found that um, tea, uh, tea tree oil. Like putting a little bit of tea tree oil on it when it becomes like sort of like the early tingling stages I put that on and literally my cold sore's gone in like two three days as opposed to the over-the-counter stuff that was so expensive and I'd have to still have this cold sore for like two weeks and I've had them all of my life people <sighs> it's nothing to be excited about but anybody who suffers with them definitely look into tea tree oil and put in like a dab of that on instead of this over-the-counter stuff it dries it out super quickly so like literally I had a tingle I put some on the next day it was like the scab the day after it was sort of a scab and then the day after it was gone and I was like wow that's <laughs> okay so we're gonna try that from now on I've done it for the last two times and been very impressed so stage three massage of the neck stage four massage of the scalp of the scalp even Understanding balancing postures and step-by-step -step balancing postures. How to combat feeling off colour. That might be interesting. Your health palette of colours. Understanding your senses and chakras. Stimulating your chakras. Making your spirit love truffles. Oh God. Get worse. Uh, preparing your love truffles. No thanks. Dream interpretations. Jim's dream. In Jim's dream, a princess transformed into an angel, making reference to his feelings and responsibilities and social standing. Okay then. Um, analyzing the low amounts of Mars. Interpreting the lower amounts of Mars again. Analyzing the aspects of patterns. Uh, the basics of aspects, understanding accidental dignities. Debilities even. <laughs> no, yeah, dignities and debilities. Uh, accidental dignities and abilities. Understanding flowers and herbs and spells. Flowers and herb magic. Understanding feelings of deja vu. Which is definitely uh, something I looked into last year and was definitely an interesting read. Um, deja vu, paranormal and psychological. Definitely, if that's something you experience a lot, I would definitely recommend that you look into that kind of thing. And here we are exploring flowers of love. It's lovely, so you have like the snowdrop and some kind of... Uh, it's gone off the top of my head. Roses and other lovely... Oh, okay. oh, here we go, on the back. 
uh, peony, that's the word. Uh, so we have some kind of daisy, opium poppy, orchids, rose, primrose, peony, snowdrop, sweet, I don't even know how to pronounce that, uh, sicily, I don't know, sweet wood stuff, uh, terramental, violet, and wood ovens. So it's definitely something to look at there. So issue 63 comes with this massage oil, which is Palma Rosa. I've just had a smell of it, very quite disappointed because it doesn't, unless you literally stick it up your nose and smell, it doesn't really smell. <laughs> it's very, very faint. So let's have a look. What are the tarot cards? We have Five of Swords, the alternative Five of Swords. We have the Six of Swords and the alternative Six of Swords. And we also have the Knight of Swords and the Princess of Swords. So that's your two alternatives there, whether you want the Knight or the Princess. So let's have a look at issue 63. Healing with Palma Rosa. And the uses of Palma Rosa. Understanding healing oils. Making your first aid kit. Stage five, oh, that is actually something I'm, I was recently looking into because um, I got really bad razor burn. It's not, it's all been hot in the sweet people. I got really bad razor burn on my legs and I was like, oh, aloe vera will help you with that. And I was like, I don't have any at all whatsoever. Uh, my aloe vera plant died, really died. <laughs> and I now don't have any at all aloe vera, so this is something that I'm definitely looking into putting together some kind of medical kit, natural medical kit. Um, I did write a blog about uh, cleaning with natural products or cleaning uh, yeah, with, with more natural homemade cleaners and using essential oils in those and I will link the blog to that as well <laughs> below. Um, but I might, if I get round to doing this, which I hopefully will, then I might do a, a sidestep blog about that and so you should definitely subscribe to my blog um there is a facebook group which i'm thinking i'm gonna i'm not sure if i'm gonna leave it up and running for anybody who wants to join but it's gonna mostly be inactive as it has been and nobody's really been bothered with it or if i'm gonna change that to create a facebook page which may be more better suited than a group so i might switch that over Stage five massage of the face. Sorry. Indian head massages, massage strokes. Yeah, that's what that says. Understanding the tree, which is again our yoga. Performing the tree step by step. Understanding money dreams. And money dreams dictionary. So we have things on spending money, saving money, inheriting money, bankruptcy, being robbed or mugged, giving your money away, oh, sorry, giving your money away and finding money. So there's definitely something there for anybody who is into the dream interpretations. Reading the nine of wands, the ten of wands, reading your intuition line. Interpreting the intuition line, understanding the minor planets. The minor planets again, so we have Ciri, Juno, Pala, Athena and Vesta. Interpreting the minor aspects. Recognizing the minor aspects, casting spells with meditation. Um, especially if you're into doing sigil magic. Casting spells with meditation can be really good if you are getting into doing sigils and uh, all that kind of stuff. I mean, it's good, full stop, but uh, definitely look into this if you're getting into sigil magic. Casting, I also wrote a blog on sigils. If you like, I will also post that in the thingy below. Casting a spell for, for, for true love, no thank you. Uh, and a spell to attract love, again, 
I don't know how I feel about this love thing, guys. I, I should probably swallow that bitter pill and be more open to this since it's such a very popular thing but I feel it's right up there with messing with love and free will and I'm not so good with all of that kind of magic understanding visionary and astral travel and the experience dawn's vision quest then our pull out is understanding the planes of existence oh wow so we have the physical plane, the etheric plane, the two bodies and auras, the astral plane, spiritual plane, and the mental plane. And on the back we have this lovely poster, which is very kind of awe-inspiring and magical feeling. Definitely. I don't know if you're picking up the colour so well, but it definitely has that magical vibe. So we have uh, issue 64. And it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of the Ching cards. Now, I've never been into Ching. I know about it briefly, very briefly. Um, so I'm going to murder the names, basically, is what's going on here. So there's got to be I Ching. And you can see this lovely mandala type image in the front there. And they are mind, body, spirit branded. Uh... Xian, Kun, Ch I don't know, Chum, maybe, Meng, Ming, Ming, probably, Ming, Hsu, oh, I'm murdering these, somebody somewhere's having a proper giggle at that. Uh, and I proceed to get to do that because I know there are going to be more coming up. So we have a couple more of our runes. I'm quite enjoying this one, the shape of this one. Ah, uh, just the overall. I wish they weren't flat on the back. That is my only bugbear about these. So we have ice, and I want to say it's Yira. I'm probably wrong, but or Isa and Yira. So sports injuries. Uh, methods for sports injuries. Learning more about Indian head massage. And then we've got onto this part, which is performing the, whatever that word says, the crow. Which is, again, back to our yoga. Performing the crow step by step and understanding feng shui numbers. That could be definitely interesting for anybody who's into feng shui and or numbers. Or getting into that kind of thing. Um, numbers and their symbols. I think this is kind of what we're doing here with these chin cards. Um, I could be wrong, but I think maybe it could have something to do with that. <laughs> yeah. Understanding reflexology. There is one thing definitely about this magazine, and that is the crazy amount of which I've learned on top of stuff that I already know. Uh, I do on my blog, people keep saying to me, how do you know so much stuff? And it's like... I read. I have a lot of books. I like to read. I don't like to go, oh, these people are buying such and such a book, post it on Instagram. So I get that book, post it on Instagram and don't read it. I actually read the books that I get. And a lot of this information you hear over and over again, which to me, I like that because I like to have that same ref like repetitive. Uh, if somebody keeps telling me the same thing or lots of people keep telling me the same thing, then it's got to be correct or right or some truth in it whereas if somebody says something and then like 50 other people say something else it's kind of like oh okay well that's your opinion which I also love I love to have different people's opinions on the same subjects um we all approach things a little bit differently some things are kind of like set in stone like the meanings for this the meanings for that but I like to have different opinions so back to this reflexology and you which is somewhere that I think I'm going to be heading pretty soon medically understanding your base chakra chakras and I we don't get on like I just I don't click with it there is a lot of things in the magical spiritual what have you world but that is just one thing that I just don't particularly click with working with your base chakra again and understanding your Aries friends my mum is an Aries so maybe I'll get to understand her a little bit better. Uh, and activities to share with your Aries friends. 
such as uh, sport. <laughs> sport, yeah. No, my mum's not going to be happy with that. Shopping, maybe. Um, hobbies and socialising and stuff on the road, perhaps. Okay, so celebrating Holly the Festival of Colours. And again, interpreting the major, the major aspects of opposition and characteristics of opposition. The magic of I Ching. I'm going to pronounce it I Ching. I know it's probably wrong. Let's have a look at this. So, I Ching is an ancient Chinese oracle that foretells the future of mapping out the continual uh, cycle. Cycle. I can't pronounce that. Changes that occur throughout life. Um, let's have a look. The history of the I Ching Oracle. It is likely that I Ching developed from other. It is likely that I Ching developed from other oracles that were used five thousand years ago in China. Chinese sages would inscribe a question onto a shoulder blade of an ox and decipher the oracle's re uh, responses in the cracks that appear when the bone was burnt. Tortoise shell was also used in this way. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about inscribing into animals, but apparently that's what they did. Uh, sacred yarrow, stalks of yarrow, a sacred plant in China, were originally cast for I Ching before the method of coins was introduced. Countering yarrow stalks was an oracle method for I Ching, and casting yarrow stalks was replaced with I Ching with casting coins. I don't know why you felt you needed to repeat this information, but you did. Um... So hopefully, um, it's a form of oracle, I'm not quite sure how we read or interpret it. Um, okay, so we have something about the stages, I'm not going to get too far into it. Understanding Irish charms. Types of Irish charms. Um, folk charms, natural charms. Uh, Celtic charms and Sudahi charms. I'm not quite sure how that's pronounced. True stories of angel visions, the angel trail. And again, more on that and the painting on the wall. And then our pull out for this week is reflexology, the top of the hands. Okay. And uh, your reflexology map of the hands. So that's like the underside. So that's what we're going to be doing with the pullout. Okay, so we are now on to what came in the post today. So we have 65, 66, 67 and 68. So let's let this video isn't long enough. Get going. Okay. So we have a very large, very, very pretty piece of Howlite Blue. This is just, I really like the colour, I really like the texture, I really like the size, and it's quite a weighty thing as well. Um, very, very pretty Howlite Blue. I'm not particularly too happy that our tarot cards got bent. I don't know how well you can see that they got bent, but they did. Um, I'm pretty sure we can unbend them. And over time, they'll probably be bent in a very different way anyway. Um, so let's see. What have we got? We have it upside down. Upside down. There we go. Focus. Uh, so we have the Eight of Swords and the alternative Eight of Swords. No, we don't. We have the Seven of Swords and the alternative Seven of Swords. We have the Eight of Swords and the alternative Eight of Swords. Which is quite weirdly bound there and we also have the page of swords or the alternative which is the maid of swords okay one so 65 it's a little bit creased and bent but herbal re remedies for chest infections herbs for chest infections understanding the crow hand uh, sorry headstand Performing the crow headstand. So it's very similar to the last one, but with your head instead of whatever it was before. <laughs> Healing traditions of Central America and Central American treatments. Understanding the Irish cult battle sign 
I don't know how to pronounce that, but I know what it is. It's that heart with the two hands. It's right there. I don't know what I'm trying to show you. Um, okay, so understanding that symbol. And learning about the Kladach. Is that how it's going to pronounce Kladach? Ah, I feel like I'm back in Scotland. Um, reading the Queen of Wands. As if we're still going with this tarot. We've not got to the end of that yet. The King of Wands. Analyzing the Mounts of Neptune. So for those who are into the fortune telling and palmistry. Uh, interpreting the Mounts of Neptune. Understanding the skin texture. I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. That's a bit of a... That's something different is what that is. Uh, types of skin textures as well. How to judge planetary strengths. There really is something for everyone in these judging planetary strengths. Understanding crystal grounding. For anyone getting into crystals, this would be definitely a good read. Grounding techniques. Again, anybody who's getting into anything um, sort of metaphysical or that kind of mind, body, spiritual, witchy, paganism. A lot of different things there you can look at grounding for. How to make bridal charms. Oh, well, that's nice. That'd be a nice one. Making bridal charms continued. And understanding cherry magic. I love cherries, so cherry magic would be right up my street. In fact, cherry is my favourite, favourite, favourite. If there's going to be a favourite, it'll be cherry something. Um, Travelling to the spirit world. And then the pull-out is the Celtic cross spread. And if I can, just gives you an idea of that. And in the back, it has using the Celtic cross spread and the cards and such involved. So that was 65. Okay, so the candle for this week is Carnation. And that's another one I'm pretty sure we've had before. It smells amazing though. It really does smell amazing. Uh, and then we have some more of those I Ching cards. So let's see. Some. She. P. Pi. Hsio Shu. Lu. Te. No idea if that's right or wrong. Probably very, very, very wrong. But I hope you're all having a giggle. So, performing the, oh, he rat it again. Matis, yeah, that. The advanced fish. The advanced fish, step by step. Performing the Mayorusa Sana. I don't know how it's pronounced. Uh, Mayorusa Sana. Might be very close. The closest I've got so far. So far, wow. <laughs> Goodly worded. The peacock. The peacock step by step. Are you even still here? Bless you. Using colour to heal the chakras. Uh, your chakra workout. How colour affects your mood. Colour symbolism. Preparing your reflexology session. Basic reflexology techniques. Understanding your sacral chakra, working the sacral chakra, celebrating hen nights, mm, not too keen on that either, symbolism and ritual of hen nights, again, dream interpretations, Toby's dream, what was he dreaming about? In Toby's dream, panic sets in when an exam paper seems to far too hard, we've done exam papers, what mysterious figure may hold the answers? Ooh. Interpreting his dream some more with the mood, action, major events, characters, and special features of the dream. For anybody who's interested in that. Interpreting the major aspects of trine, 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 I think it's pronounced. Spells for safe journey, love that. Your travel amulet, again, love that. Celebrating the winter solstice. Uh, we've just celebrated Beltane here. So, blessed Beltane. Blessings, blessed Beltane blessings. Be blessed. <laughs> How many bees? All the bees. Um, speaking of bees, I've not even seen a bee this year. 
and your tide celebrations understanding seance apports personal accounts of apports and the pullout is reflexology for the top of the feet and i'm guessing we're going to do the underneath of the feet oh look at that we did so i'm not a good person with feet i don't like feet i'm one of those people okay so we got this um is it pronounced neroli neroli i think I'll be honest with you people, I've never heard of this before, I just had a quick smell of it, and it smells like cat pee. It does not smell nice. Or something equal to cat pee, either way, it's, it's not a nice scent. The Nine of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Swords Alternative, the Rebel of Swords, and the Lawyer of Swords. So that is more of our sword collection. Aromatherapy on your pulse points. Blends for pulse points. Herbal remedies for bladder infections. Herbs for healing. So we have corn silk, cranberry, sacaprilla, couch, couched grass, I think that is, marshmallow, uh, golden seal, horsetail, bearberry, and oh, that's it. <laughs> Meditation for pain relief. I think that'd be a good one for me. I'm very much looking forward to reading that. Again, continued. So it has uh, how to relax the body, the healing blanket, comforting warmth, cleansing your body, banish the pain, recharging yourself, challenging your pain, and cleansing pool. That is all. Sounds very good to me. Plan your yoga warm-up. Oh, if only I could do yoga, I would be such a fit bunny. Uh, warm-up stretches for yoga and understanding friendship letters. I now have a pen pal, which I'm very excited to hear back from. Analyzing your friend's letters and understanding the fruits of love. Traditions, traditional fruits of love. So you have pomegranates, peaches, strawberries lychees and apples story of the minor arcana the suit the suit of cups and here we have the characters of cups interpreting the major aspects of square and again characteristics of square and interpret interpreting the major aspects of sextile and characteristics of sextile including the planets and signs, um, which is uh, Leo and Libra. The Celtic moon, or Celtic moon, I'm never quite sure how to pronounce that, uh, but the Celtic moon months Willow moon, and the Willow moon magic. So we have Willow divination, moon water spells, protection spells, and healing sachet. I'm quite excited for those as well. Celebrating the eight Sabbaths, the energy of the seasons, the ghost stories, the apple pie. I currently have a cherry pie in my fridge, which I'm very excited for. And the apple pie and the old grandfather clock. So we have the mind, body, spirit deck of cups here pull out so we can see what all the cups look like. And on the other side, the pitcher cups continued so that is our issue 67 so issue 68 we have two more of our runes I know what the meanings are but I can't remember the names um, I want to call that Perthro or Perthro something I still no good at the names I know their meanings now but yeah so that's two more of our stones sorry of our runes we have a few more let's see six more of our um i chi cards so we have p or pi or something like that tusung jan teyu xian yu sui 
But I just noticed while unboxing these, they actually have the meanings and stuff on the back. So, if I grab the other cards just quickly, it has some information on here. So this is the front main card. And then we have the meanings on the back. And so, it'll be interesting to see how these work. But I'm quite excited now they've got like a little bit more of a meaning on the back, um, I might actually even use these or learn these now. Uh, before when I thought it was just a, a card, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know. So, quite excited. You can see how some of these are really bent. But yes. Right, let's see. Making herbal ointments. And your own lotions and ointments. So that's making your own stuff. Performing the Dahuana Sonosaurus Rex. I don't know what these are. I'm terrible. I know I should have learned these before I try to murder their names. But it's the Advanced Bow. Yoga isn't something I can do, so it's not something that I'm really going to try and go out my way to learn what the words are. The Advanced Bow Step by Step. Reflexology sequences the right foot. Step by Step, the right foot. Right foot sequence continued. And then doing the right foot sequence. Understanding stomach chakras. Working with the stomach chakra. So it's stimulating with exercise, reflexing and meditation, calming with aromatherapy and calming with mantras. Understanding your Taurus friends. So that's my Auntie Bev. Um, so we have shopping, sports, hobbies, weekend breaks, socialising and music. Uh, we have interpreting the major aspects of conjunction and characteristics of conjunction. Understanding the I Ching hexagrams. So we have a little bit more on that. Um, okay, we have more on that again. Magic of pearls. I really want one of those pearls that's carved into a skull. I really want one. Using your pearl... Uh, a spell to bless your home. Your home blessing spells. True stories of deja vu. A life changing vision. A new direction. Introducing the festival of the dead. Oh we don't normally have like two of these. Ghost and spirit section. That's quite interesting. And. The meaning of the hexagrams. So this is the. Chin Chen Kane Ken Tui Li Sun Kun. So one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight, so that's not the days of the week. But it might be, but it's not. And then on the back, again, I probably won't learn this. But it's good to have in case I ever do decide to learn or it ever comes up and, you know, I've got some information on it. So. That is the long-winded, waffling, huge, eight magazine, unboxing, review, flip through, whatever you want to call it. Me just waffling on and mispronouncing stuff. So I hope we had a giggle. I hope you're still here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're well. Beltane blessings and enjoy the sunshine because it is lovely weather here in Blackpool, England. And I love you lots. Take care. Bye, guys.